Once upon a time, there was a herd, a giant herd, with millions and thousands of horses who ran around the plains. They were able to do whatever they want. No predators, no humans, no anything. It was paradise. There was no fighting, no biting, no pecking orders. Everything was free and available everywhere. When this happened, she would run to her mother crying, saying the same thing she always says. She says that the foals were being mean to her and wouldn't let her play. She would go to her mother crying in tears, saying that she, saying that other foals wouldn't let her play and were just hurting her for no reason. Oh, darling, you're just being irrational. Those foals would never do that. I know their parents. And just ignore them if they are. You're beautiful the way you are. But apparently, this information was not enough for her. Her depression got even worse. And every day she looked into a puddle, she would cry, knowing that she's ugly. Her mom would comfort her, but it wasn't enough wasn't enough to keep her alive anymore. So, she ran away. She ran away far. She ran away wide. Her mother became devastated when she didn't come home. The bullies noticed it too, but they didn't miss her. They were actually happy that she was gone. They have no one to mess with them when they're trying to play tag. They never learn. Her mother set out to find her. And the foal ran into the mother. They were happy to see each other. She asked her why she ran away. She said, because I'm ugly. Her mother said, you were never ugly. And loved her. But then they were interrupted by a pack of wolves that then approached. The leader went first. He began to growl at her. She she reared in terror before the wolf then grabbed her by her neck. Her neck was broken. She fell on the ground, not moving a muscle or breathing. The foal got so angry, so mad so angry that she turned into a fire horse. She pawed the ground in anger. She she clapped her teeth angrily. And then she reared and then she attacked the wolf. The ribs the wolf's ribs were hit several times. He went, he howled and cried as loud as he could, but there was no use. She wasn't stopping. The other wolves stand nearby in absolute shock from the killing. 
She walked up to one of them and hit him. The other dog attacked. One bit her under her leg. One bit her on her shoulder. The scared filly cried in pain, but then she snapped. It turns out the other foals have followed her to see where their mother was going, where her mother was going. Very surprised to see them. They all looked with their eyes widened. The leader said, "You're you're a m -m -m monster. You're you're a m -m -m monster." The other one quoted, "Uh um uh uh, please don't hurt me." The small Clydesdale foal said, Get away from us! She stared. And stared. And stared. The area became dark. She began pawing at the ground. And then she said, You will pay for that! The other folks terrified, but then the next morning, the foes were dead. Parents never knew. And that's how the fire horse was born.